Hello Zany friends and welcome to another book review video. Today I am reviewing a book called 20 Minutes on the Tube by Daniel Hurst. The author did reach out to me to see if I would be interested in reviewing the book for him so I wanted to uh, bring it to you because it is fairly new and the concept is interesting. Let me first kind of tell you what it's about and then read the synopsis from Goodreads um, because I am really on the fence about this book. The book, as you could probably tell by the title, is 20 minute period in which people are on the tube or the train underground um, and their stories, what led them to the tube, what happens to them on the tube, what happens to them after the tube, but it's in the same like 20 minutes. And I thought this was really, really interesting. So let me read the synopsis and then we'll come back to what I actually thought. 20 minutes, 20 people, 20 different reasons to be underground. Every year, there are over a billion journeys made on the London Underground. But who are these people? Where are they going? And what have they done in their past? People like Jelena, who is just trying to escape a life of hell. Or Anke, who is just trying to escape her marriage. Or Craig, who is just trying to escape life. People like Louise, who didn't always plan on stealing until she realized she could get away with it. Or Valentin, who didn't always plan on murder until he got bored and found himself a victim. Or Carol, who had spent her life doing nothing but make plans until discovering they might all be taken away from her too soon. Secrets, lies, terror, death. It's just another morning on the tube. So that is the summary. As you can tell by the summary, this is a story about 20 people. That is probably my first issue with this book. I had a really hard time keeping or caring about keeping 20 people keeping track of 20 people <laughs> or caring about 20 people because of the fact that there were so many of them i think this was like a brilliant concept of you know what happens in a 20 minute period because they the people are actually connected in some way whether they're affected by something that happens to someone else on the tube or whether they are trying to escape a situation and need to be rescued or something like that. They all are kind of connected by this. But in my opinion, I feel like 20 was too many people. Like, I think it was kind of gimmicky. Like, I understand where they were going, 20 minutes, 20 people. But in reality, it was so hard to understand 20 people in one book that it just kind of... It blew my mind in a way I couldn't enjoy the book. I almost feel like what would have been better about this book is that it had been like a three or four part series where you find out like in the first series, you know, here's a five or six people, like a chunk of them, and you see how they're intertwined. And then the next one is like five or six more people, etc. And then by the end of the series, you see how all 20 of them come together. And then I think it would have given us time to really breathe into the characters and want to know more about them. But it, after I finished the book, I was just like, I don't I feel like I don't know anything about these characters and I just spent all this time reading it and that was kind of a travesty for me because I really wanted to like the book because I thought the concept was so good but I just had a lot of challenges with this book and I'm really sorry um, to the author who sent me the book because like I don't know that's just my honest opinion and I'm going to give you my honest opinion about that and uh Again, it probably would have been a better book if if the stories had kind of been more drawn out and there were only like a couple of them in like the first book series. Now, apparently the author does have other 20 minute series where there's like different situations, the 20 minutes, and I get it, and I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Um, but I'm probably gonna give this book a two stars because it was it was hard it was hard for me to read um but you know maybe if you're the type of person who can keep all these stories straight in your head this would be a great book for you to read but i will leave the information down below so you can definitely check him out and see what else uh he has done and maybe you will enjoy this book and if you do read it let me know down below how you like it and why because you know i really want to have a discussion about it i think some books are great for some people and some books are great for other people so there's a book out there for everybody. So just let me know down below what you think and I will catch you again for another book review. And until next time, stay zany.